Thank you for your interest in Mirrorfly, a comprehensive communications product encompassing real-time messaging, audio, and video calls SDK. In this video, we shall deep dive to see how to integrate the chat SDK for the React Native platform. You may also download our sample application available in GitHub if you need to explore more about the real-time chat and call features before you integrate it. This would be the fastest way to build your application UI with Mirrorfly Chat SDK. You should also be aware of some of the supported browsers before you start working on the React Chat integrations. Before moving into the integration part, you need to know about the SDK license key to initiate chat. You can get a valid license key from the Mirrorfly user console or dashboard. You would need to be a registered user to access console. Since I am already a registered user, I'm logging into my Mirrorfly user console. In the overview page, you can get access the license key and API base URL in your project to initiate the chat. You can use the sample project source, SDK files, and API credentials to test your integrations. Let's jumpstart the chat SDK integrations. I'm already created a new React Native project. In the first step, update all your packages.json files. In step two, check your packages files have any duplicate if it is not working in iOS. In the step three, to download the zip file from the React SDK. In step four, extract the files from the downloaded zip file. Copy the dist folder file into your application. In step five, create a new folder inside your project and paste all the copied files into it. In the step six, create a new file sdk.js to export the SDK objects. Furthermore, can use the following codes to import the SDK. Import the SDK files in your application where you need. Before start integration, we can add the NPM package dependencies. Go to terminal, copy the package name and paste it one by one to add the dependencies in package.json file. Add these packages in terminal. React Native Async Storage. React Native Get Random Values. React Native Document Picker. Realm. You are using React Native version 0.69.12, Realm version should be in 10.8.0. React Native Community slash Matinfo. Moment. RN Fetch Blob. React Native Compressor. React Native Convert PH Asset. React Native MOV to MP4. To install all these packages. Now installed all packages successfully. Let's see how to initialize chat SDK. To begin with the initialization process of the chat SDK, you are required to have certain data that responds to the changes in the connection status in the client's app. Copy the code and paste it in the app.js file. Paste it in initialize function. Already create a function for initialize SDK method. While using the await inside the function, the function should contain a sync in it. Console the SDK initialize response. Create a button tag, defines, a clickable button in return method. Call the initialize SDK function, in onclick method action, will triggers on button tag. Copy the license key details can get it from the overview section in the Mirrorfly console dashboard. When you are in the trial mode, by default, the sandbox servers will be used. After subscribing for a paid plan, it will be upgraded to a dedicated server. Now to run the app in the simulator or plugged-in device. Click the Initialize SDK button. Once Initialize SDK is successful, the long response shows the response message as success and with the status code 200. In callback listener handles connection status in connection listener function, triggered whenever connection status changes. In callback you need to call the connection listener callback listeners are functions that will be called whenever the specified event happens. Let's see how to register a user. You can use the below given method to register a new user. 
already created a function for register method. Paste the register method code. While using await, inside the function, the function should contain a sync. Console the log for register method response. Give the user identifier as a unique ID to register the user. We accept only the alphanumeric string, so don't use any special characters in the user identifier. Use is force register as an optional param for maintaining sessions, and metadata as an optional param to provide metadata of the user. Make sure that you have called the registration method only once in an application. Refer to the docs for more information on request input for register metadata and response params. Also, you can find a sample response code. Once you have successfully registered a user, you can connect with the Mirrorfly server. Now copy the code to paste it in the register function. Console the log for connect method response. Once you are registered, you will be provided with a username and password in register response that you can utilize to make the connection with the server using a connect method. Create a button tag and return method. Call the register and connect method function for onclick method in button tag. Now run the app in simulator or plugged in device. Click the login button. Getting the response for register, you can get username and password. Use these credentials to connect with the Mirrorfly server. Once login is success, connection listener will trigger SDK, and the connection to the server will be successful or else it will get a failure response. Let us see how to send a message to another user. While using await inside the function, the function should contain a sync. The send text message accepts two major param, which is to user JID, message body, message ID, reply to. Console the log response for send text message, because while sending the message, it shows the status as success or failure. To JID param represents which message the user wants to send to another user. Let's see how to generate JID for any user. You can use get JID method to generate the JID for any user. You can pass the user ID as another user's registered username. Now you can pass the to JID value in send text message. For message text param, represents to give the message body content to send to another user. I have created a UI for the demo, all ready for sending the message. This is our sample chat UI code. You can set the UI for your needs to implement the design for chat. Let us see how to receive a message. It's a message listener function that will be triggered whenever you send a new message or received message. Further to initialize the SDK, you need to add the following callback method during the process. Now run the app in simulator or in a plugged in device. Once the app is initialized successfully, let's see the demo for sending a message to another user. While sending a message, you must initialize SDK. Check the logs once SDK is initialized successfully or not. Log in with the Mirrorfly server. Now send the message to receiver. This is our sample application UI, where we can check the sent message is received or not. Now successfully received the message at receiver. Great. Hope this video is helpful for you in your Mirrorfly Chat SDK integrations. Mirrorfly Chat SDK and UI Kit give you a comprehensive real-time chat experience and simplify your chat design needs. Check out our documentation page for more such tutorials that would ease your integration setup. We have a dedicated customer success team to assist you with your questions and help you pass through the blockers with ease. Thank you and have a good day.